to reduce this village from this to this. But why? Let's dive in and find out. But first, I am so excited to show you this. Look, look. Oh. 45 plus hours of resource gathering and block placing and the outer curtain wall is finished. Taluses, crenellations, the whole lot. And if you've been looking at the community tab on my YouTube channel, you'll have seen this. Yeah, they spawned in. So all the tops of the walls and the towers and everything is now spawn proofed. Lower half slabs, stairs. Not having them coming in again. They have also been spawning in the outer bailey. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh, look at it from this angle. This is the view coming up from the village. <laughs> I love this. I am so pleased with how this looks. Oh, imposing and very real castle looking. Oh, I love it. It doesn't matter where I stand. I love that thing. <laughs> now, speaking of villages, we've got this one which has been medievalized. I don't know if that's a word, it is now. But we also have this one. It's a problem. I have to fix it. I've been thinking for some time about what to do with this village. If I medievalize it, I have to cultivate a lot more farmland, at least 350 extra chunks. And I don't think I can face that. And frankly, this village is too close to the other one, so that's out. Then I thought I'd turn it into a monastery. There's a lot I can do and talk about with a monastery, but again, I would have to factor in farmland and the villagers would be forced to work the monastery lands for free, which annoys me, so that's out too. And then I got to really thinking about peasant life in the Middle Ages. A lot of peasants didn't live in villages. Instead, they lived on farmsteads. That comprises a farmhouse, yards and outbuildings with gardens and enclosures. There would be one, maybe two families and some extra field hands, and that would be it, small units scattered across the land. There were farmsteads close to villages and farmsteads a long way from any village. And whether you were more likely to be in a farmstead or a village varied across Britain. In some places they were the dominant form of living arrangement, in other places the village was the dominant form. And while I'm talking in the past tense, there are farmsteads in Britain that have seen continued occupation from before the Norman invasion right down to the present day. Where farmsteads have been abandoned, the reasons are varied. Famine, drought, war, unrest, economic hardship, the Black Death was a big interruption, wiping out whole villages, let alone whole farmsteads. In more recent times, there was the mad cow crisis and things as mundane as land acquisition for road construction. So, the person in charge of the farmstead had a farmhouse, but that was more often like our hall up at the castle. A large space for the needs of everyone there. Space for everyone to eat at benches and trestle tables, a space for everyone to sleep on the floor, on sacks of straw. The farmer and his immediate family might have a bed to share, but then again, they might not. The main farm building here is based loosely on the hall house of Hluan Kellen in the Black Mountains of Wales. I'll link an excellent site about that house and its restoration in the description below. Hluan Kellen is a little later than our castle, but hall houses were common from the 12th century through to the 16th century, and the form didn't really change that much over that time. And I have made some changes of my own, so this is not a reproduction of Hluan Kellen by any means. So, are we ready for a quick tour? <laughs> but I just want to say first, because we are dealing with villagers who are stupid, I've had to make some changes that are not historically accurate. So here's our yard. First off, I've got a fence round so that they can't go wandering off and get themselves killed. They do that. We know that. So this is the hall house. And we've got a little forge here. Oh. Okay, I knew about the blacksmith. Looks like he's got a leather worker helping him. That's nice. Blacksmith and his apprentice. That's cool. 
we have a little barn with the rainbow herd. I was thinking of putting them in the Minecraft area, but they're tucked away here and I can come and shear them when I need coloured wool. This may as well be practical as well as decorative. And then if we are, we'll come in the hall first. So like the hall up at the castle, there's not a lot of furniture in here. We do have a fixed bench for the master of the house. Hello, we've also got a lot of cats. And yes, I've put trap doors over the open half. I know that means it's not quite open, but villagers will stand in a fire if you let them. So that's there for safety purposes. But we've got the open hall right the way up to the ceiling. We've got some windows with shutters. If we come through here, this should be a parlour, but instead I've just filled it with beds. And we've got a dairy for making cheeses. These guys are both very busy doing that. There you can hear them at work. And out the back here, there's a little garden. And if we come up here, we have what should be the solar for the main farming family. We've got a bedroom. Oh, I've missed a door. I'll have to put the door in. And I'll do something with this. I don't know what. The villagers have me a bit bamboozled at the moment. So we come out the back. We have far too many iron golems. Far too many. And we've got a stable for horses. We've got a little cow yard. Some more farmland. And in here, I've just got a general workshop for the villagers. I don't know where they've all gone. But they're normally in here being quite busy. As you can see, there's a fair bit here for them to do. And then there's just a side gate for me to easily get up to the castle and back. But here we are, this is the farmstead. I did put a lightning rod on top of that. I'm very pleased I did that because we did get a thunderstorm and I got an achievement, protect a village from an undesired shock without starting a fire. You're on your lonesome. Oh, here they all come. They're coming for a meeting. I will let them all uh, meet in peace. Now you'll have to excuse the square nature of the walls. I have put them along chunk borders because I find far too many villagers wandering outside the walls over there. So I'm seeing if that makes a difference here. Ah, oh, so there's our farmstead down there. This is the view from the castle. Oh, I quite like that. I'm going to put some more trees around it. And of course, there's all the fields that need to be worked up. I've got to add, what, an extra 30 chunks to that. And of course, I've still got about, I don't know, about 200 chunks to go for the farmland for that village. Lots of ploughing ahead. So now I'm going to leave you with cow cam. And there are end cards on the screen if you want some more of my videos. And if you've made it this far, put the code phrase off the grid in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.